All right, welcome to the channel. We're here at Dorian Ford picking up a new car and it's gonna be a big surprise for the channel. So see you guys when we get uh, done with all the paperwork and you guys are gonna think this new car is cool. So see you guys in a few. All right, that's it. We just uh, finished all the paperwork. It took us about 20 minutes to do all the work and Richard had everything ready. Uh, here's a look at the truck. There's Donna and little Nathan putting everything inside. <laughs> it's uh, all black sport. Yeah. F-150. Yeah, those floor are great too. Thank you. Those yeah, are nice. Welcome, nice. Those are very nice. You see that? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. So, what is this? This is our this is our third brand new truck. Third right? brand new truck. Uh, we also got the Edge from here too. Mm -hmm. But and the F-250, remember? Yeah. <laughs> there's nowhere else we're gonna go. I mean, when we first got the uh, first new truck, the white F-250. Nobody else wanted to sell me a truck because I was young. Not me. But <laughs> Richard, Richard hooked me up. You know. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, I think what, this is our sixth. This car? has got to be our one, two, fifth car. Fifth, fifth car. The fifth. Edge. Yeah. One, two, yeah. Yeah. Yep. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching the channel, and hope to uh, see more from you guys soon. And uh, we'll be seeing Richard again in about a uh, couple months. A <laughs> couple more months, and we'll be getting something different. Okay. So, uh, see you guys at the next scene. Okay. Okay, so we're in the 2019 F-150. It's got the 2.7 liter EcoBoost with the 10 speed automatic transmission. And Donna's about to drive it for the first time. This is gonna be her truck. Uh, how do you feel so far? You got the uh, seats adjusted and everything. Yes, I'm adjusting the mirrors. Do you feel like you're that sitting gray up? one's cool. Do you feel like you're sitting up high? Yeah. What gray one? That's behind us. Oh, that's a uh, gray, that's a magnetic sport. That one's that one is not a 19. If you would have gotten the magnetic sport one, the wheels would have been the wheels would have been dark black. So, I went I would have went with magnetic over black, but the wheels would have been dark black. Which, well, we already have a magnetic truck. Right. You don't think that's cool? I have two magnetic trucks. No, we already are gonna have three, F, two F-150s and one. F but check that out. It's got nav, which is really cool. I had nav in my other car. Didn't I? Yeah. It doesn't show the traffic though, like mine. Weird. <clears throat> mine shows traffic. Yeah, it does. It will. We're not in traffic. Oh, it, it like loads it later? Yeah. Oh. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. Do that when we get home. You need that now? No. Okay. All right, driving home. How do you feel? Uh, about this I'm kind of surprised to be honest that me I would lease an F-150 on my own but I think it's gonna be good a uh, good thing for our family because I mean I never really drove my edge I had 18,000 miles on a 36,000 mile lease and uh, I think the F-150 will be better with the lawn business and, <laughs> and just having the baby and everything we'll have more space for him and it was less of a payment than my edge was so overall I think it's going to be a good thing Nady what do you think <coughs> Nate's looking at the view because he's in the whole new truck yep another truck from Richard you know it's interesting uh, thinking about uh, using the same salesman and not just kind of chasing any deal that you can find uh i won't forget how it was when i was first buying my first truck i was this young kid i was probably like how old when i got that first truck like 24 ish maybe nobody took me seriously at that age i don't know if it's because of my age or whatever but i guess for whatever reason i didn't fit the demographic of a potential new truck buyer and they are expensive the payments are high they didn't, most dealerships didn't uh, think that I was really a, uh, a serious buyer. Oh wait, because you bought the white, you bought the 250 first, yeah, then you I, leased the silver truck like a yeah, month later. Yeah, but when I bought the, the white F-250, uh, that was my first new vehicle, and yeah. they were really tough about me uh, getting, it, getting into it. The first dealership that I went to got me approved and they set me up with a brand new truck and plow and everything and it was all great. But what I found out is that they were selling me something different than what they were showing me. 
they were uh, selling me a brand new pristine truck, but they had this old truck that was old stock in the back somewhere that plowed their lot for two years and the plow was all worn out and the truck was worn out and they were going to polish it up real quick and give it to me. So I ended up going to a, a different dealership, one closer to, uh, to my house and that dealership wouldn't even sell me a truck because, I mean, I guess in uh, interest of optimizing his sales would focus on people who are more likely buyers and for whatever reason that he didn't think I was a buyer mm -hmm. and I tried telling this guy that I was already approved and he was insisting that I wouldn't be approved for the truck because uh, I don't know you know I have the lawn business at the time I was doing the lawn so he was saying something about the income unless you're showing some kind of I don't know he was saying that I had to show profits or something as I do I'm already approved he's like wouldn't sell me a truck and I came, I reached out to Richard and he hooked me up. He hooked me up with the new plow and uh, we did all that financing and stuff together. And we had the plow installed where this other dealership would not install the plow for me unless they used it. And on top of the fact that they used it, they turned around and marked up the price of the plow about three or $4,000 over what the plow actually cost. When I came to Richard, he set me up with a brand new plow installed in the truck. Um, a brand new truck that wasn't used had zero miles on it zero hours on it and the plow got installed by the upfitter same upfitter except it wasn't marked up it was just the cost of the plow so that's why uh, I like my dealership I like going to Richard and uh, that's why I uh, will continue going there and on top of that he always has his paperwork down like, yeah it took us like 20 minutes 20 minutes total and that's just talking about like you know life and everything the new kid and everything it still only took i mean i never you know, even went minutes. there our car our new trucks getting looks by people in other vehicles they're looking over like damn look at that 150 i never even went and picked this thing out richard did it all for me i just showed up that's how easy he makes it yeah like we just showed up here in 20 minutes we had all the paperwork done because it was all set up and you can do that like if you really think about it you can set it up with whatever salesman you use or if you're in the area, reach out to Richard or whatever, but or anyone at Dorian. But you can definitely set yourself up to where it don't have to be like this dry mouth, dead, cold experience in a dealership where yeah. they're just trying to sell you a car. Like, no, like, uh, we picked this car out, you know, we talked about whatever colors, whatever look cool, whatever. But, uh, we didn't have to go back and forth, and it wasn't a big deal. We, yeah. He has the paperwork and everything ready to the point where you don't take hours and hours talking and figuring out what you want to do. It's just a sell. It's just an easy sell. And it's and I think it's beneficial for both parties for when it's set up that way. Pick out what you like, figure out your oh, payment, this car is struggling up here. and uh, figure everything out. So. Yeah. But if you go see Richard, tell him that Donna Sean sent you because... Uh I'll hook you up for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. He'll definitely get you a good price. You mentioned Donna Shine, you'll get a good price, trust me. But uh anyway guys, see you guys at the next scene. This is gonna be a quick review of the 2019 XLT Sport Package F-150. If you walked into a dealership right now and wanted to pick one of these up, this is probably what you would be able to find. Uh, this is not a custom order truck or anything. This is just uh, purchased from a dealership, already stock, bought from the inventory. That's a good way to get a good deal on one of these. So this is a truck that you are likely to see on a dealership lot, uh, regardless of uh, where you're located.